Hello and welcome to this video on how to create and curate your very own degreed pathway. My name is Tom Rinkowski. So curation is the selection, organization and presentation of online content. And you know there's so much learning content available online in video platforms like YouTube or Vimeo, blog sites and course providers like some of those listed below here. If you're an avid learner like me, then you like to share what you've learned and pathways are just one way of storing and presenting your best learning experiences. One of the other reasons I like pathways is because they're very clearly presented to your learner. You can see here the title, an idea of what's inside of the pathway, a completeness indicator on the left hand side, on the right hand side the options to share your pathway, or to follow your pathway. And when you follow this pathway, it's saved to your profile and items from within the pathway, learning assets, are added to your homepage feed or they're in emailed to you on a periodic basis. We get the description for the pathway and then the organization and presentation of it in sections and lessons. If we open up a lesson, here are some of the content items, articles, videos, and books that are presented to me. So let's go ahead and create our own pathway. Click plus in the top right hand corner here, choose create a pathway. I'm going to give my pathway a title. You'll want to add a description, anything from five to 25 keyword sentence here would be fine. Um, you can also upload a thumbnail image. If you don't choose an image, then Degreed will just add a default image for you. You can choose to hide the header image from the pathway page itself, as well as hide some of the details on the duration. Adding a skill here gives an idea to the learner what they'll learn about when they complete your pathway. It also helps with search, as we'll see in a moment. So I'll hit save on my pathway. And straight away, I'm going to edit, I'm going to go into edit mode here. The, there's a completion indicator as we've seen before, and then some of the spaces that I can populate. So in my title area, I'm going to give a, a section title called introduction and this title area for the lesson, I'm going to call it basics. Underneath, I can add other lessons to this section or I can add a whole new section itself. If I'm ready to add content and I find some content online, then I click this option here. But there are two basic ways that you can add content to your pathway. The first way is to search within Degreed. Degreed's big database of learning content items is offering me here 272,000 content items around business process. The first one being a book, I'll choose that and I'll add it for hold for later. Next, I'm going to do a bit more filtering in Degreed. I'm going to find a specific article and I'm going to choose this article for hold for later. And finally, the second major way that you can add content to Degreed is by adding it from any URL across the internet in this add by type section. Now I've got a video that I found and I know that would be useful in my pathway. I'll paste the URL to that video into the option here. And what Degreed is doing, it's grabbing the metadata from YouTube for this particular video I can add some more information about it, what skill is being learnt, and then save the video. Again, I'm going to choose hold for later. And as I look at the hold for later tab, I can choose all three items, the book, the article, and the video, and add them to the lesson. Great, they're there now, ready for someone to find. But I'd like to spend a bit more time to organize them. They're not in quite the right order. So if I choose these arrows here, I can make the video go first, then the article, and then the book. Kind of a crawl, walk, run approach to the learning. Could also add a course at the end. So I'm gonna hit save. Now my pathway is rearranged, the video first, then an article, and then the book. I can add some context about the asset on the right hand side here for my learner, just so they know why I might have chosen this item and what might be a key area to take away for them. When you're ready to review your pathway, just click done editing. 
if you're ready actually to go live with your pathway and share it across the internet, choose the option to go public here. If I click done editing, you can see right away, here's my pathway available and ready to go. You can go back in and edit your pathway. If you've logged back into Degreed and you can't find where your pathway is, well, they're always stored and saved as you go uh, in your profile section here under the Pathways tab. So right here. So there it is. Okay, so I really hope that this video helps you create your own pathways. Drop any links to the pathways that you create into the comments below. I really like to see them. Thank you for watching.